And here's the second half of the segment on the Braves Club. The electronic newsletter we try to try to keep it fresh every year, and um, you know, add some some new features each year. Really, what it is is it's a, a way for us to stay connected to our membership and keep them connected to the athletic department. What's going on with our student athletes? Uh, what's going on with our coaching staffs? What kind of events are coming up for Braves Club members? We have um, a, a new uh, segment which is a Q and A with our new athletic director, Dick Christie. People who receive the newsletter can email a question back and then we choose one question from those that were emailed back and he answers it and then it's in the next month's um, edition that comes out. We also have what probably is the, the biggest um, draw for people when they read it is a quick uh, Q&A with a male and female student athlete and um, it, it's just fun questions, you know, what's your favorite food, what's your favorite place to dine on campus your favorite movie, what's your dream destination, um, vacation, uh, those kinds of things, as well as some things that have some real, um, you know, deep meaning. How do you give back to the UNCP community and the community at large, and what's your favorite moment as a Brave? And when I put those together, it really is fun to read the responses that we get from the student athletes, and everyone is unique, and everyone um, really has a different perspective on things, and I think when they get that newsletter, that's one of the things they enjoy the most is uh, being able to, to read what our student athletes' interests are and, and it gives them kind of an inside look. One thing that we brought back that we had in the original uh, newsletter that we had a couple years ago, since we have some new coaches on staff here, we brought back a Q&A with the coaching staffs. Um, just to give some information on where those coaches came from, where they've coached before, the other members of the coaching staffs, and then ask them some questions about the season that they're that they're in. You know, what do they think their chances are within conference? What's going to be some challenges that the team might have to overcome, and those types of things. Um, I think it's hard to, to zero in on one single student athlete that the Braves Club has helped because it helps so many. I would say that just again the record performances that we're having, both in academics and athletics, is a testament to the investment that our Braves Club members make um, in the General Scholarship Fund. We put a record number of student athletes on the PVC Presidential Honor Roll this past uh, spring. Um, we've won two uh, PVC Presidential um, Scholarship Awards, you know, showing that we, uh, you know, outperformed the, the general student body on campus two years um, consecutively. Our athletic teams are going to the postseason and not just to the Peach Belt Conference postseason tournaments, but also to the NCAA uh, postseason tournaments. And that's really the true success story is that we are on a great trajectory and we want to get as many new Braves Club members in uh, to help continue that success and, and build on it so that we can become um, even more competitive within the Peach Belt Conference and within uh, the NCAA postseason. Hi, I'm Dick Christie. I'm Director of Athletics here at UNC Pembroke. The Braves Club is evolving currently. We are uh, reinstituting the Braves Club Board of Directors, which uh, some, of our, some of our key uh, alumni will, will take part in that. We're also launching a volunteer network of donors who will reach out to and try and expand the reach of the club and try and solicit for new members. So, it's a key time for us in, in trying to grow and uh, you know where the Braves Club goes will, will really dictate just how much uh, we can grow our budgets so we can uh, improve the resources to our student athletes. The Cash Bash is our annual fundraiser and it is uh, the largest single day fundraiser that we have all year. Uh, it's a time that our our donors have really looked to and coming back and, uh, and engaging and kind of getting an update on, on where we've been for the year. Um, the Cash Bash right now is an April event and uh, that raises about a quarter of our total fundraising. So I'd like it to be a smaller percentage and still raise more money, but uh, the Cash Bash is a great asset to us. The Braves Club is a huge asset to us. Braves Club is really our vehicle to reach out to the community and to, to have them invested in what we're doing. Uh, currently the Braves Club is an augmentation to our scholarship fundraising. 
and ultimately the more money we can raise externally, uh, the more of our available funding internally can be made available to our teams on the operating budget side. So raising scholarship funding um, through our donors, through our alumni base is extremely important to our future. Thank you for watching this week's edition of the Black and Gold Report. Until next week, go Braves!